All right, we're going to continue with this lesson here. Lesson 222. Two, two. Uh, this is uh, number six. It says angles four and five are alternate interior angles. Name another pair alternate interior angles. Can you show why they're equal? I think we'll do that one in class. All right. And uh, number seven. See that in your packet, so I think we'll skip that one. Uh, number six. We're going to just fill this out real quick. It says complete the table below um, by writing the definition, marking the pair angles in the diagram, telling how the angle measures are related. Alternate interior angles. Let's start by marking those. That would look like that. Those two are alternate interior angles. And we will say they are in the in, they are between parallel lines. And on the opposite sides of the transversal. And those equal in measure. Okay. And then the alternate exterior angles, we can mark those like this, that one there, and that one there. Alternate exterior angles are on the outside of parallel lines. And they are on opposite sides the transversal. And they are also equal. And uh, at this point you can see on the bottom of this page that it says when a transversal insect intersects parallel lines, the alternate interior angles are equal and the alternate exterior angles are equal. So we're going to use all that information to try and figure out the missing angles if we can, using some of this new information. I'm going to do number eight with you, and then the rest of the work we're going to do in class. I'm going to take a picture of number eight, put it on a new page so we can enlarge it. All right. We're going to try and find as many angles as we can, given angle L is parallel to angle M. All right, so we have L parallel to M. And uh, let's start by getting the vertical angle. We can say B is equal to 53. Measure of angle B is 53. And that's because, I can label it right up here, and that's because B and 53 are vertical angles. And vertical angles are congruent. Now, if you remember from the earlier problem, we found that corresponding angles are congruent. So if we pick the angles that are congruent to the 253 or corresponding to the 253 degree angles, we see that 53 and F are corresponding. So that means F is 53 by corresponding because they're corresponding angles. And we can also see that B and E are corresponding angles. So that means B e is equal to 53. Now, um, A and 53, that's a pair of supplementary angles. So a plus 53 is equal to 180. So A is equal to 180 minus 53, which is 137. Actually, I think I did my math wrong. 120. 127. So A is 127, and by that, 
since A is 127, A and D are corresponding angles. So they're both 127. B and G are vertical angles, so those are 127. There's a lot of other relationships we can do here within these eight angles. Remember that alternate interior angles are the same. So that means E and 53 are the same. Um, and D and C are the same. So they're both 127. Anyway, we should have all the angles now. We have 127, 53, 127, 127 here, 53 here. 127 here and 53 here. Now these two angles over here, they're they're the same. I is equal to H. But since these two lines are not parallel, we can't say like that A and or B and H, even though they're corresponding angles, we can't say they're the same because uh, using L as a transversal the two lines are not parallel. So you need to have parallel lines in order to use the ideas from this lesson. All right, so H and I, we can't find. The rest of the problems we're going to do in class, so this ends the lesson. I'll see you tomorrow.